Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking, highlighting popular dishes that are part of our traditional Jamaican culture. Here now is today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. Our special guest today is Faye Ellington. Hi, Faye. Welcome to Creative Cooking. Thank you very much. I want a piece of bread to soak into my chocolate tea. How oh, could I forget the hard work bread for you? No, no, with, no, with the best butter upon it. Faye, it is such a pleasure to have you on Thank the program. You. It you is couldn't, my pleasure. You are the perfect person to be on this program. You know, so I see you have a, a, a carrier beside you. Oh, Lord, Mrs. Me, me had a carrier because if you never have carrier, when you're coming from where I'm coming from, now the carrier has three compartments oh, sure. actually so let me see if we can open this yeah, yeah. and this is it's really a flask yeah. and each compartment has its own cover yeah. and so you can put meat in one yes. you, well the salting so because what was called the meat was the salting, salting you know? never mind that it might not have been salted yeah. but you know because so many meats were prepared using salt then right, and then you put your, your ground provision in one mm -hmm. and if you have rice or you know whatever little something you have you put in the other one so you have three of them and this was a carrier and mm -hmm. somebody gave me a carrier about three years ago mm -hmm. and a modern day carrier you know. but this is a whole one look mm -hmm. like me <laughs> I'd like to invite you over to the kitchen. Yes. You know, the outside kitchen? I don't know that me grew up with. You understand? See a child? Let us the go. outside the kitchen, kitchen was something else. When ashes take you. Mm -mm. We're now in the outside kitchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Faye, let us start over and look at this fireplace here. Well, this is what I grew up with. And as a matter of fact, over this would be the crank crank. Oh, because with the cranker, it's like, like um, um, pieces of wood yes. that you'd hang your meat from. Right. And that the smoke that you'd that use here under mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. would go up and cure the meat. Definitely. Lots of people who ate pork and beef or whatever mm -hmm. it is would hang stuff. But this is what you grew up with. You had three big stones here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we put the three foot pot on it with the two ears. Right. And you go woodland, go collect your wood yeah. or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you make up your fire. And like all this brescia, you know. Mm -hmm. Brescia. Yes. And another name is fruta pang. Yes. Yeah. Fruta pang. And you put this, now you don't take off your pot and you put this on top and you turn right. your breadfruit as it roasts. Mm -hmm. This I know is what I used to iron my clothes mm -hmm. when I was a little girl and my mother and grandmother used. This could work with a coal pot or it could work right, right. up so. So you mm -hmm. get the iron and you get the dry banana trash now. And when you take it off, you have to hold it with something yeah, cloth or something going up. And you rub off the, 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 yes. the, 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 the ashes and the stuff and then you so take another fine a piece of cloth to, to clean that up more so when you hang no yes. hang on smooth mm -hmm. right flows mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. you wasn't buying starch in an old tin you go mm -hmm. you go greater your cassava make you want to start it's and when you start your crinoline Whoa. and your calico undergarment and you put them on and turn up tree it the yabas were also the yabas, very important people, they baked a lot in its mm -hmm. day the rich you know christmas cake you know the, the puddings whatever and of course the goody the you can't pudding. forget the goody same the thing we call calabash, calabash. Used to Water, mm -hmm. yes, right. Yeah, we're not a mel mug man. Independence, no, 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 aluminium can, right? I did have my independence one, you know, mm -hmm. which was about half that, and it had the, the coat of arms mm -hmm. on it. But mm -hmm. this is what we used to get milk powder in. Eh? And when I'm sorry, I had my virgin that to me. I remember it was a conductor of it. Yes, my boy. It was just that the chocolate tea was mm -hmm. so nice, and you really couldn't resist it, you know. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure working with you, Faye. I, I, you have a comeback, you know. Yes, me have a comeback. You have a comeback. You walk with Auntie Lemma, I want to win. Hi, today I'm going to be preparing mackerel rundown. Now, first of all, you know rundown is no rundown without coconut cream, which takes a little time to do. So we'll make what's called in the chef's language a reduction, where you boil this and it simmers down to a custard. In this pot, I'm going to be putting some cooking oil, which I'm going to do to saute my vegetables. Now I'm going to put some garlic in. Of course, garlic enhances, it's good, it smells good, it enhances flavor. Of course, we have our onion rings. And we're going to use some tomatoes and scallion. All of these flavors roasted really, really enhances our rundown. Okay, now some black pepper is also a must. And I always wondered why my mother would put a whole piment of grain, but apart from the presentation, I think it enhances the flavor as well. And what would a rundown be without the good scotch bonnet pepper? Right? Now, my secret ingredient today is red herring. Red herring is salty and it also has a smoked flavor. 
for color, I've chosen pumpkin, right? So the pumpkin is going to give that some color as well. And then lastly, we're adding a little salt. And just before I put my coconut cream, which is almost ready, I just pack my mackerel. Now my coconut has reduced to the coconut custard. Usually when I'm in the country, this would be in the Dutch pot and we put everything, but modern day thing allows us to saute and to things. So now I achieved the look I really want to have. And if my mother were alive today, she'd say, yeah, it looks like rundown, all right. So now we have a nice looking mackerel rundown with all the colors and the little custard and the little oil just ready to eat with some banana and some corn dumpling which I prepared ahead of time. Now, if you're ready to eat, I'm ready. And this looks absolutely delicious. Make sure I get the mackerel. Why wow, this smells so good, I really feel like starting to eat it. And if you notice, I have my dumpling and my rundown on banana leaves. Don't you think that's a nice presentation? I think you should try that at home. Mackerel rundown. Hi, Carl. Hi, Nathy. <laughs> Your mackerel rundown yeah. smell like the one my grandmother used to make, right? Let us look at it. As you mentioned, plating, you know, on banana leaf, mm -hmm. I mean. This is just awesome. Yeah, but where you come from? Oh, that's coming. <laughs> Ty Dixon, that's in Western St. Catherine. Okay. Between Monique and Lloyd as well. Okay, I'm sitting there. Listen, when my grandmother used to cook, you know, mm -hmm. when we would go to Bush, mm -hmm. I mean, that was the... That was the plate. That was the plate. Mm -hmm. It was square the banana leaf. You know, right, you know. The, the, right. You know, the sweet yam, right. barbe yam, yellow yam, whatever, the salt fish, whatever, mm -hmm. was served from that. The sweeter and banana leaf. But of course, they got a little modern day and kind of hype it up. So we give it a little attitude to the with, I mean, it with really, some red, green and it gold. It is divine. It really okay. looks good. And I can tell you, you know, it tastes just as good. Right, Carl? Welcome back. Traditionally, Rondon is made using salted mackerel. But you can make rundown using a range of items that we have locally. We have invited Carl Hart to join us again for this segment of the program. Hi, Carl. We're so happy that you have joined us. Now, Carl made some dishes for us and we want to share them with you. This one over here. Rundown using chicken feet. Right? Mm -hmm. And, and a, a little bit of curry powder was put in this one, Carl. Mm -hmm. it really looks good. Tastes just as good. This card is, has really swept me off my feet. This is yeah. Aki and Saltfish Rondon. Can you imagine? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aki and Saltfish Rondon. Yes, in grace coconut milk that has been reduced. Carl told you about a reduction. Mm -hmm. Which one is that over there, Carl? And this one is vegetables. We have used all beans. We use butter beans, green peas, and um, red kidney beans, mm -hmm. which, you know, we use for everything. Carl, thanks very much for sharing with us um, in this segment of the program. Remember that today's recipes and other creative ideas are available to you. Phone, write, or email us at Grace Kitchens. We'd be too happy to send them to you. Till next time, walk good. Grace Kitchens invites you to watch Creative Cooking. This creative cooking series features traditional Jamaican dishes that are part of our Jamaican culture. And we invite you to join us every Monday morning at 7.35 on Smile Jamaica It's Morning Time for Creative Cooking. <laughs>